Here we go. What happens when a nine-year-old inherits one million dollars? Happens all the time. And if you're watching this, if you passed away and you have a child who's under the age of 18, I'm betting the chances are they'd inherit a million dollars. Why? Well, between the value of your house, your retirement account, your investment account, maybe a business value, and life insurance, the majority of uh, you know people that I talk to and see and that are around Austin probably have at least a million dollars if they pass away through life insurance and everything. So let's say your nine-year-old inherits that million dollars. What happens? Do they get it right then? No. If, if it goes through a will and a probate, something like that, it's probably going to be, be awarded a uh, custodian, someone who can control that money, use it for their benefit until they're a certain age, usually 18 or 21, and then it'll be fully released to them. And if they're only pulling on twenty or thirty thousand dollars on that million dollars a year, and it's invested decently, it's probably going to grow by more. So now you've got the problem of okay, so they got the money uh, to use during their uh, life, but uh, while they're still a minor, but now they're eighteen or twenty-one, and they get that whole million. Maybe it's two million dollars by then handed to them. Could you imagine the problems that could come up? Alcohol, drugs, peer pressure, gambling, marriage. Someone sees that guy and wants to marry him for his money, marries him, divorces him, takes a lot of that money. Uh, lots of problems, right? If you have a trust, then the trustee would control that money if the money were in the trust, and then the trustee can make those decisions. And even better would be to have that trust continue on. We call it like a children's trust or sub-trust so that the trustee manages the money for the benefit of that person, that nine-year-old, throughout time and gives them money for typically health, education, maintenance, and support, and then maybe starts giving them a certain percent each year when maybe they're 23, kind of that postgraduate age or something like that, and then maybe releases it in big chunks, maybe a portion at 25, a portion at 30, a portion at 35. I like to call that the strikeout trust because you get three strikes if the person gets the big chunk at 25 and screws it up on drugs and booze and gets another chunk at 30 and screws it up on gambling and a bad business decision or marriage they get the last chunk at 35 don't strike out on that it's the last one you get so you want to make sure that you think about these things because if you don't it could be very bad if you pass away and a hundred hundred percent of people will die at some point so you might as well do the planning now it's only your life savings and it's only uh going to impact the people who receive that money and it could impact them in a positive way or a negative way i'm attorney mike massey I'm a Texas attorney. I've helped over a thousand families with their estate planning. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Click below to learn more or look us up at Mike Massey Law. Make today a great day.